I'm Kara O'Brien and we're in the Atlanta Alpaca Treehouse in the Bamboo Forest in East Atlanta and we started the treehouse just because it would, seemed like a fun cool thing to do and the Bamboo Forest was magical and when you walked into the forest you just felt like you were in another world. Um, two years prior I had rescued um, a series of alpacas, a herd I guess you'd say, and then later we went to an auction and we rescued a llama to be a protector for baby alpaca that was um, coming down the, the pike, so to speak. And then later we rescued Figgy Llama about a year later. And um, they just happened to be here. And then when we built the treehouse, well, we thought, well, since the animals are here, people may enjoy them. We didn't also know if that would be a detriment since they, you know, they're large animals roaming around the bamboo forest. But to date, people have found it to be a really interesting bucket list to come and stay in this treehouse built of reclaimed materials in this very thick private bamboo forest where you can see the alpacas and llamas literally roaming the forest floor from your bed or when you're hanging out in the little um, living room area down below and it's been amazing for us we've met people from all over the world and it's it's been just in incredibly profound we've had you know proposals and weddings. Um, it seems like it's a place where people come together and celebrate each other and are really happy and that was something we didn't really expect when we started. So the, the bamboo we think has been here since the 1940s. We think someone planted it down by the interstate to block the noise since we're just about a mile from the interstate and then over the last you know um, 80 years it has basically walked its way this way and then we built the treehouse in in the bamboo out of reclaimed materials so everything is old parts and pieces that have been joined up to kind of create like an art project um, and it, it feels like it's been here for a long time because the beaded board is 120 years old the doors and windows are about 100 to 120 years old um, the floors are from a 1905 uh, church that was torn down in Marietta. The door to the composting toilet is from the West End and it's probably from dates to 1910. And probably one of the most interesting things is the front door was the back door of the mayor's house in Kirkwood in 1900. But the one, something really cool that someone recently pointed out at one of my llama alpaca experiences is that that typically in 1900 the back door would have only been used by women and servants and the front door was only used by the probably the master of the house and now like our back door is a front door and it's welcome to everybody so it's incredibly it's become an inclusive door 